Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me uh, back again with another uh, review. This time it's uh, Extreme Rules. Oh, uh, man, this pay per view was pretty damn good. I was not let down at all. Um, maybe because I didn't come into this pay per view with a lot of high expectations. But, man, this, this pay per view delivered. Uh, so, let me get into it. Um, as we all know, there was a pre match before uh, Elimination Chamber. Uh, Santino versus Miz, Santino won, no big news out of that, uh, so let's get to the pay-per-view pay-per-view, uh, the pay-per-view started, uh, Randy Orton versus Kane, this was a pretty damn good match, um, I mean they fought everywhere, into the crowd, uh, backstage, um, yeah, it was, it was a real good match, uh, Randy ended up, uh, doing the RKO on a chair, and, Called it, called it a night, and uh, yeah, it was a really good match. I'm, I'm curious where they're gonna go at Randy now. There's rumors he's gonna go after Brock and all this stuff. You know, you really can't have a Sheamus versus Randy because uh, they're both faces. So I'm, I'm wondering what they're gonna do here. Um, maybe get him drafted to Raw since uh, pretty much Sheamus is taking over SmackDown. Uh, and what they're gonna do for Kane? Um, who's he gonna go after next? So. What is he going to be mad about now? Shaking someone else's hand, giving someone a hug, high five, I don't know. Who who knows who he's going to be going after next. But yeah, this match overall was a pretty good match. Well, after that we had another match that was added on, I guess, that night. Uh, Brodus Clay versus Dolph Ziggler. Uh, finally, Brodus got a decent match, I guess. It was probably about five minutes long. Uh, he ended up beating Ziggler. Ziggler took some huge bumps. Sold like a motherfucker as always, and um, yeah, Bros Clay ended up getting the win. And like I always, like I've been saying these past couple of weeks, Dolph deserves better than this, and uh, hopefully soon he will hopefully get drafted to SmackDown and get pushed or something because on Raw he's been getting shitted on, and he deserves way, way, way better than this. After this match, we had Cody Rhodes versus The Big Show. And this match was this good because of the outcome. Uh, Big Show was pretty much handling Rhodes all night. Um, they had a table by the ring, on the by, by the apron. And uh, Show was getting on the apron. Uh, Rhodes drop kicked him, which then Big Show lost his balance and his foot went through the table. And he lost. Uh, that was fucking fantastic. Uh, I forgot to tell you, they did it. They spent the will, and the match was a tables match. So that's how that happened. Rhodes ended up winning. Big Show went nuts after that. He speared him, and then he fucking threw him outside of the ring onto a table. That was extreme. Uh, no pun intended. Sorry. And uh, Cody Rhodes took a pretty big bump right there. Usually, when you see guys flying out onto a table outside usually they land on like two at least or like double stacked or something he fell on just one and and Big Show was lucky that he got most of his body onto that table uh, and Rhodes walked out on his own so that just shows you how tough Cody Rhodes is for all you haters out there for him but um yeah I'm glad uh, Cody Rhodes won the title back I hope no rematch or anything stupid happens at that and I'm very curious to see where they go with Cody Rhodes. Very curious to see who his next opponent might be. Let's see. After that, we had Sheamus versus Daniel Bryan. And by golly, this match was excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, oh, my goodness. It was a good match. Uh, this match, you, sh you should go out and try to find someone who's showing it. Because, my gosh, this was a good match. Uh, hands down, Daniel Bryan's best match that he's had in the WWE. Um, I could probably say the same for Sheamus. Uh, the first fall went to, to Sheamus because via disqualification. Uh, Bryan kept kicking uh, Sheamus' arm. Uh, the ref was trying to break up the count. He got to five and he disqualified him. Which was, you know, smart. It was different because he's beating the shit out of Sheamus and he gets disqualified for it. Then he gets, uh, after that, the bell rings, he gets uh, Sheamus back into his yes lock. Sheamus ends up passing out, rings the bell. 
Daniel Bryan gets the second fall. Uh, now they're getting all worried because Sheamus, they didn't want to see if Sheamus can still compete. You know, they bring the trainer, the doc in. They're talking to Sheamus, seeing if he can compete still. He says yes. Match three goes on, and Sheamus wins. Hits a bro kick out of nowhere. Kind of disappointed that Daniel Bryan lost, but I wasn't really expecting him to win. Excuse me. But, man, this is a good match. I, I hope this still continues. I know it's probably getting stale to some of you, but I really like this feud, and I think it's it's going strong. And, uh, I mean, have it in maybe next pay-per-view or something like that. Uh, I'm just curious what they're going to do with Daniel Bryan. Hopefully his push doesn't go down. You know, I, I don't want him to, like the Miz, you know, how the Miz was all the world champion and main eventing Rawls and stuff, and then he loses the belt, and now he's... And I still want to see that happen to Dan O'Brien. So after that, we had Ryback versus two jobbers. I don't even know their names, or should I say Ryberg is more like it. Uh, he beat the shit out of them, uh, and that was it. So I, I don't know what they're gonna do with Ryback. He just seems like he's like a like a Goldberg type guy. I hope he can actually wrestle. That'd be nice. Um. And hopefully they give him a match soon. He's just been squashing everybody. And it's funny how they're like, usually they're hometown people. That's funny. Uh, after that, we came to the uh, sixth match of the night, which was Punk and Jericho. And man, this was a street fight. This was, this was a, hands down, a street fight. Beat the shit out of each other. Uh, CM Punk did an elbow drop onto the table on Jericho. Uh... Oh, man, it was just a good match. He ended up doing the his finisher on, on Jericho to win the match. But, man, it was back and forth. You didn't know what was going on. There was a fire extinguisher used. I mean, a kindle stick. It, oh, man, it was a great match. Um, I don't know if it was better than the Sheamus and Daniel Bryan match. But it was a good match. It was definitely better than the WrestleMania match. I'll give that for sure. Um, I don't know if this feud's over. I don't know what the hell they're going to do with CM Punk. I don't know what the hell they're going to do with Jericho. I know he's still here till about the summertime, and then they're going to give him some time off. So, who the hell is Jericho going to feud with now? That's 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 the burning question. What the hell is Jericho going to do? But it was a good match. I suggest everybody who's watching this video, I suggest you see this pay-per-view. It was excellent pay-per-view. After that, we had the Bellas. Um, we... Er, er, uh, we heard or learned, I'm sorry, earlier that night that uh, Beth Phoenix was not going to be able to uh, to compete because of her ankle and that they were going to face a mystery opponent. So, you know, the buzz, internet buzz, the arena buzz, was all thinking it was karma. Ended up being Layla, so it was kind of a letdown, I guess. Uh, I like Layla. She's pretty and everything. She's a better wrestler than half the divas in the in WWE. Um, but yeah, no karma or anything like that, which sucked. Um, Layla ended up winning with a pretty huge net breaker she did on, on, I don't know which Bella it was, but man, she almost broke her neck. <laughs> yeah, Layla ended up winning, so bye-bye Bellas, you know, they're going to get released for sure. And, um, uh, I don't know what they're going to do, go model or do some shit, but looks like maybe we'll see a Layla Beth Phoenix feud, Layla... Karma feud? I don't know. Alright, last but not least. Brock versus Cena. And I have to say, this match was damn brutal. Brutal. Uh, right off the get-go, Lesnar hit him with three straight elbows into the, fate, into the top of the head. Busted Cena right open. Not even five minutes into the match. Uh, trainers had to come in there. I know everybody was booing and everything, but... It made sense because they stopped the bleeding. They were just going in there to stop the bleeding. Not because he was bleeding or anything. He got him pretty good. So the trainer put that glue on there to stop the bleeding, which it worked. It worked. It stopped the bleeding pretty much for the throughout the rest of the match. Um, Lesnar hit him with a... He was stiff on a lot of his stuff he did to Cena. Uh, knees to the ribs, punches to the face. Uh... 
Lesnar almost killed himself. Um, Cena's on the apron, right? Imagine Cena on the apron and his the steps are in the ring. This motherfucker, Brock Lesnar, ran through the other side of the ring, off the ropes, jumps off the still steps, hits Cena with the knee, because when Cena goes down, he pulls the ropes down. So when Lesnar thinks the ropes are going to catch him, he lands on top of the rope, flies outside of the ring, and takes a pretty rough bump. By <laughs> Wow. And he starts grabbing his knee. You know Vince McMahon was holding his breath right then and there. Lesnar ended up being okay. But man, he took a... <laughs> that was... It was funny. I'm sorry to say because he, he was okay. It was funny. Um, Lesnar ends up going back in there. Uh, goes on top of the still steps again and, you know, flexes and shit like that. Goes up there and he's going to do it again. This time, uh, Cena had the chain around his hand and he clocked him. Like, you heard it hit his head. It was pretty... <laughs> wow. Brutal. And then busted Lesnar wide open. Uh, then after that, he did the F5 or FU, whatever the fuck it's called, on Lesnar onto the steps. And ended up winning. So yeah, John Cena wins. Which makes no sense because after the match... Uh, Cena got on the mic and saying that he's hurt and that he's going to probably take some time off. You know, I don't mind Cena winning at all. But what the fuck? You know, he's hurt. I understand that. But why not have him, you know, why not have Lesnar come and attack Bra uh, Cena after the match? Because he was complaining about his shoulder hurt. And he was putting him in a Kimura uh, throughout the night. Lesnar was. So you could have had Lesnar come in there, beat the shit out of him, and put him back in that Kimura. And, you know, you have to take the whole locker room or the referees to, to break it up. And then the next night on Raw, you can have Cena come out there in a sling or something and say, you know, I'm out for, you know, a month or two because he separated my shoulder or my, whatever, you know. Something, something like that. Not just have him win and then talk on the mic and, you know, trying to – you know, thanking the fan, you know, I'm glad that I had my match. I know I'm tasting blood and blah, 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 but I'm glad to say it was in Chicago. You know, trying to get yourself over. You know, the fans were going for Cena. I, I, I'll be damned if I would ever see that in a Chicago crowd cheering mostly for Cena. It was crazy. Um, but, yeah, this was a damn good pay-per-view. I just wish that the ending of the match should have been a little bit different. You know, why not have Cena be celebrating? You know, he just won. And you see Lesnar get up, pissed. And he just goes in there and just goes off on him. Just starts beating him up again. F5s him and puts him in a Kimura or something. You know, that that would have made, made the most sense. But it didn't happen. So, other than that, that was a... It was a good pay-per-view. I'd give it an 8 out of 10 easily because uh, we had a bunch of good matches on there. And next is No Way Out, and tonight's Monday Night Raw, so we'll see what goes down there. Uh, like I always say, appreciate you watching. Appreciate everybody subscribing, and please leave a comment down below what you thought of uh, the pay-per-view and what you thought about the, uh, the ending of Cena and the Brock match. Thank you, guys, and have a good one.